these are instructions to put together my flower pot pop-up card that I made for Mother's Day. When I made it the first time, because my Cricut only prints and cuts on one side, I had left the other side blank and it showed, it didn't look as nice. So what I did is I took the pattern for these flowers and I just um, imported it into other software and printed it out on the back of the sheet of paper. And then I did my print and cut as I normally would. So it looks two-sided, but truly it's not. So the best way to start with your flower pot is to look at the pieces. Now you have two separate sets of pieces. You have those that have the slices that are through the top or through the flowers of the flower pot. And then you have the pieces that have the slices coming through the bottom or the flower pot itself. So, and you also have two different heights. You see these two are the same height. This one is taller. And this one is the same as this height. And this one is taller. So what you want to keep in mind is that the taller ones are going to are going to be the center pieces. So they're going to crisscross in the center, and all the other ones are the peripheral. So this is the first piece I'm going to use with this piece. Now, if you notice, these are the two tallest pieces, and they both have slits. See, this one has a little tiny one at the bottom, and this one has the long slit like the other two, and it fits together at the center. So we're going to put them through and then we're going to take this one and slide it through the end slice but just making sure that your pot side is facing towards you. Flip it around and do the same thing with the other piece that has the cut coming from the top. Just slide it through the slice of the other piece. So next you take this piece, it's got the slot in the bottom, and you're going to just slide it through as best you can for that end piece, making sure again that the side that has the flower pot on it is facing you. Next, take the remaining piece, put it through the top, and again, the flower pot is facing on the outside, or in this case, towards you. Just take your time and don't rip any of those little slots. They're kind of thin, but once you get it together, they're happy to be together. And make sure you can fold it flat. We're going to take this, the rectangular piece. It has two tabs at the bottom and it has slits at the top here. What you're going to do is fold it on all the score lines. Make sure you fold up the, the tabs as well. Put glue on the tab that's on the side. and fold over. This is going to create your little square base. And what we're going to do with this base is fit our flower pot over the base. So just gently play with it until your flower pot bases are at exactly parallel and even with the bottom of your little square. Just put glue on the base of your flower pot and glue it down to the square base. Make sure you glue down all four sides. And then make sure that it folds flat. Fold it flat with the two tabs lying over one another. 
take your card base. Now I've already prepared my card base. My card base is a piece of Cricut Craft board that measures 12 by 6 and scored in the center and fold it over. My mats are 4 and 3 quarters and 5 inch and I've embossed the yellow to give it a little bit more interest. Your tab flat in your flower pot flat. You want to lay this angle exactly against the center of your card and position it so that the framework of your collapsed flower pot fits within the perimeter of your card. And if you're happy with the way it looks, take a little bit of glue, put it on the tab, and then place it in position. And because it's yellow on the yellow, you may not be able to see, but there's a second tab on the top. Put glue on the second tab. Fold your card over. And press down firmly where that tab is. And there you have it. Your pop-up flower pot. Next, we're going to work on the little pop-up mechanism at the front. So next, we're going to work on the mechanism for our sentiment. It's comprised of three pieces. You've got the little tiny sentiment itself, and this rectangular piece with a score line in the center. You just want to fold on that score line. And then this is the mechanism that supports the whole thing. Fold on all the score lines. Okay. With this edge to your right, you put a little pressure on the center score line and then fold that flat. You can do that with the other side as well. Just push on the center score line and you should wind up with a shape that looks like this. Just put a little bit of glue on the top leg of the extension on both sides. And then glue your rectangle. The folded side is at your right, open side is folded over those two parts where you just put the glue. Okay, then you get to test it. There's your pop-up mechanism. So you just want to put glue on this triangle here and flip it around in this triangle here. Just put glue, make sure it doesn't go past any of the score lines, on this triangle, flip it around in this triangle. And position it the height that you want not too close to your other pop-up because you don't want them to interfere with one another and then as close as you can get to the score line collapse your card and put pressure on where that triangle is folded down because you've got two layers of glue that have to adhere to the card base and then just adhere your sentiment to the front panel. I also included some flowers just to hide a little bit of the where the, the mechanism shows just at the bottom there. And voila!